Good morning and welcome to our morning worship. My name, this service is brought to you by St. Thomas of Beckett Church, Ramsey. My name is Ian Osborne. I'm the rector of the parish. This weekend uh, in Ramsey, that's the uh, weekend of the 27th of August, uh, we are holding in St. Thomas of Beckett Church uh, our flower festival. And it had been my intention to record a service on, on the themes related to that flower festival. But um, during the week, um, I caught up with comments on a couple of recently recorded services. One of the people who regularly watches for praise with us in this online service uh, and who often leaves a little hello or aloha um, is a lady in Hawaii. Uh, the pastor of a little church on Maui. Um, it's always been an encouragement to know that she's with us and that we uh, pray with Christians around the world. Um, but this last uh, couple of weeks, we've had a um, couple of messages, which when I saw them, I felt God very strongly saying that that was what we needed to do uh, with our online service. Let me share them with you lady um, she's never told us her name she posts as wife of kjw um shared us this message thank you for this timely message i'm the leader of a very small church on the island of maui in hawaii this week three absolutely disastrous fires raged through important cherished areas of the island lahaina town was wiped out completely thousands are completely homeless with nothing except for the bags on their back as they ran Tourists trying to leave, parked in cars and at shelters, tents, and the community opening up any spot to pitch a tent. And this lady herself is housing whoever comes to the door. She notes that Jesus has pitched his tent in the midst of this craziness and trauma. That was 10 days ago. And then uh, another message uh, last week. Um, asking for our prayers. Now, when I saw those messages, as I say, I thought um, it was very clear to me from God that uh, that should be the focus of our prayers this week. And so I hope if you have in mind the Ramsey Flower Festival, but do by all means go along if you're able. Um, but I hope that you will be happy to share with me in, in praying for uh, this lady, her church, and the people of Maui. Uh, it may well be that, uh, like me, <laughs> it's not very clear where Maui and Hawaii are. So I dug out some maps, a map of the US, and you see really a very long way out into the Pacific. Uh, on the left-hand map, there's a little marker uh, where Hawaii is, and then the right-hand map shows the chain of islands and the the one with the circle around it is Maui, where the fires have happened. Latest news, latest as of uh, Tuesday this week. I'm recording this on Tuesday the 21st. Um, they're still, they've searched about 85% of the burned areas and found 114 people who have sadly died. And there's still a lot of people missing. Um, the search goes on. And the recovery goes on. Heavy rains this week won't help. And the island, which is, I think is very dependent on tourism, uh, uh, is economically wrecked. So it's a time of great suffering for them. As we move into our time of worship and prayer, let's begin with uh, this reading from Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. God is in the midst of the city, it shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. 
psalm of confidence in God, a reminder to us that God is with our brothers and sisters, even though they are in trouble. Um, I wanted to just say a word about uh, the way our Hawaiian friend signed off uh, uh, messages. I don't know if you noticed. Uh, it was with that word aloha. The previous one, much aloha. I looked up exactly what that means. It means both hello and goodbye uh, in, in the Hawaiian speech, but um, it has deeper meaning than, than that. Apparently, it means love and peace and compassion, mutual respect and harmony. I think that speaks a lot about um, how we can be um, united with these people on the other side of the world in their time of trouble, um, in their hellos and their goodbyes. They're about love and peace, uh, and we're with them in the end. So I'd invite you to turn with me to God in prayer. After each petition, I'll say, Lord, have mercy. Um, Lord, in your mercy, please respond. Hear our prayer. We pray, first of all, for those who have died in these terrible fires, who, who have died unaware and unprepared, we pray for the peace of their souls. We commit them to God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for those who are bereaved, those who have lost loved ones, and those who fear that they might. who are, will be terribly anxious for these hundreds and hundreds of people not yet located, fearing the worst. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are injured and suffering. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the emergency services, those located on Maui who will have had the most terrible couple of weeks. Pray for their strength and their safety. And as I believe it has been quite slow for help to come from outside, but as it is now arising, arriving, we pray that, that might be effective and swift. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are now homeless, those whose world has disintegrated, to begin again and find the courage and strength to begin again. We pray that those who are sleeping in tents may be kept safe. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray particularly for those who are particularly vulnerable, for the aged, for young children and those who care for them, for those who were already in poor health. We pray particularly for those who were already in poor mental health uh, and whose world has now been shattered. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for those whose livelihood is gone, those who don't know how they're going to make ends meet. We pray for them and for the whole society around them, in Hawaii, the US and the world, uh, that no one may go hungry. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for our sister, who has reached out to us, who cares for her little church, we pray for her church. We pray for their fellowship together, their witness to their neighbours. We pray that their strength may be sustained. 
We pray for all who have been in touch with that fellowship and with her ministry these last few weeks. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally, we do turn, those of us in Ramsey, we turn our minds back to events close to home and we pray for our flower festival this weekend. We pray, Lord, that you will send us the weather that is best for us and that will bring out the best in us. We pray for everyone working so hard this weekend. We pray for all who will visit that their contact with our beautiful historic building and with the lively love that's within our church fellowship may turn their hearts towards you. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bon prayer that we know Christians all around the world pray in lots of different languages is the one that Jesus taught us. We pray, Our Father, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We will have a hymn now, the St. Thomas of Beckett Church Choir, singing a setting of Psalm 23, a psalm uh, that reminds us of the Lord's loving, tender care for us.
And we'll end with a, a closing prayer and then a blessing. Shall we say this prayer together? Holy One, you are our comfort and strength in times of sudden disaster, crisis or chaos. Surround us now with your grace and peace through storm or earthquake, fire or flood. By your spirit, lift up those who have fallen. Sustain those who work to rescue or rebuild and fill us with the hope of your new creation. Through Jesus Christ, our rock and redeemer. Amen. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and always. Amen. So greetings to Hawaii, to each of you. Have a good week. Bye-bye.